Good morning, everyone. Jason here, Good Vibes Patio, as you know. Um, what's happening today? Well, I'm about to jump in the car with James and head off on a road trip. We're heading to Bangkok and then off to Hua Hin and then off from there to Chun Phom or Chum, Chum Fun, something like that. Anyway, one of the places I went to when I came back from uh, Koh Samui via Surat Thani. So we're going to look at some second-hand boats for James. Not these ones. This is low tide here. <laughs> the boats are all high and dry. But a uh, quick massive thank you to Tony in Australia for the coffees. Thank you so much. And Anthony, I'm not too sure where you're from. Maybe the US. Thank you so much. It really helps, guys. So uh, anyway away from the condo tours for the next couple of days unless I stumble across something in Hua Hin or somewhere uh, but yeah road trip and something very different well our first spot stop was supposed to be um, Bangkok but James found a boat on Facebook marketplace here at the Padia Water Sports Club down in Jom Tien, not far from where I live. And I've shown this place before because there's a restaurant just down there on the beach, but there's, this is an old Yamaha 2009 29 footer. And the guys pulled the V8 inboard out and put a Yamaha diesel in it, but it's stern drive and... Look at that, 15 years old. Uh, and it's not cheap. How much is it? 1.3, 1.3 million. Anyway, next stop, Bangkok. Uh, well, I'm just looking at it now. Made it to Bangkok, and um, this is the first, uh, <laughs> the first boat we're looking at. Yeah, not really. So um, it's a uh, uh, Gen Al. Yeah, I'm just sort of just having a look around. With a little cabin, but it's got a hard top. Uh, the air. And it's got a portable air conditioning in it. Oh. Down there, I'm trying to work that yeah, out. Yeah, the air conditioning unit. James is talking to the owner. <laughs> And uh, plenty of shade. It's got a nice Suzuki four stroke. I think it's a 200 horse. Um, mm, I'll show you more in a sec. Sorry, I was wrong. It's a 175 four stroke. And uh, uh, it looks better in, in the photos as they always do. So it's a Gen Al, a Gen Al 625, 6.25 metres. Anyway, let's climb my way through this. Look at this thing. It's like a little Jeep with a Suzuki outboard on it. Anyway, this is Bangkok. And I've been here since October the 21st last year. And I can probably count on one hand in fact, that's how many times I've been to Bangkok. Nice little floating marina here. You can keep your boat, or sorry, pull up at least. And then get it lifted up and dragged up here. Amazing. So James and I have made it to Hua Hin. It's, what is it? Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday. And um, we had a fair bit of rain driving from Bangkok. And look at that. Beautiful Hua Hin. And we're staying at the Hilton. Don't ask. Good deal. It's a good view that way. Yeah. So this is the pool. I will get a price. <clears throat> the reason we're staying here is because we got here late. 
and James has used his Qantas frequent flyer points to book the room and I'm going to pay him cash. Oh, look at that. Mm. Nice bar. Show you more later. G'day from Wahin. Not Huahin, as I pronounced it earlier. Wahin. So James and I are here for a couple of days. And uh, we just picked up a couple of rental bikes. James has got a Click 125. What was it? 250. 250 a day. 250 a day, and I, I got an Aerox, and it was 300 baht for the day. Anyway, we're just going to go for a cruise. Cruising around, and some of this footage was shot yesterday on our way to Wahim, and um, we looked at a couple of boats. They were both crap, and we're going to. Chon Fun, or Chun Fun, I can't remember what it's called, to look at a, another boat that's got no motor on it, which is cool because in, in that video that I showed you we, when we were at Seat Boat, they've got that old two-stroke that's 16 or 17 years old, never used, brand spanky new, at a good price, and uh, if you can buy the boat cheap, it's a Rabalo, 24 footer I think, and um, yeah, anyway, it's just nice not to be, not to be in Padia, traipsing around looking at condos for a few days, and geez, it feels funny riding an Air Rocks compared to the X-Max, but it's got a bit of power, it's just tiny, tiny for big old Jace. So, uh, oh yes, what else? So, yeah, last night uh, we're, we went out. I'll drop a bit of footage in the in this video to a bar street, bar soy, and uh, while while I was sitting there, I clicked over ten thousand subscribers, which is just amazing. So, each and every every one of you that subscribed and your support and the coffees. Um, makes a big difference. So just getting back to the Hilton where we're staying, um, for, for my Aussie mates you would know about the Qantas Frequent Flyer program and James accumulated truckloads of points through his business with the Mazda dealership and he was kind enough to, to book and use the Qantas points to stay at the Hilton and we had a look last night online and the rooms we're in are just over 5,000 baht each, each room per night. Uh, and I'll show you the room later. Yeah, they're very lucky to have a good friend like James. Very generous, we. Uh, uh, hang on. What are we doing, we're turning around? Yeah, really good down there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys will be boys. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're both hung over today. <laughs> Badly. We didn't eat dinner last night. And um, we're suffering. Oh, it's a kitten. Yeah. Wow, look at this strip. And bars galore. Oh, what a cool street. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. There's a cheeky monkey on the right. Wow. Anyhow. So 
so I couldn't help myself. Mm. James spotted this place on the on the road. It's brand new development here in Wahim Beachfront. Beachfront. And this is a two bedroom. 79 square meter. This is the show. This is obviously the show unit. Quite nicely done, nicely decorated. It comes fully furnished. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Living room. That's a bit tight. It's good quality. Beautiful. How much is this, James, for a two bedroom? Uh, it's not this. In Spark Pirates, uh, 15. 15 million. 15 million for a two bedroom, 79 or 80 squares. And it's got a really good quality feel about it, this place. Really 15 million have view from for the beach. You can see the beach from if you pay 15 million? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure for the steel wheel. Oh, I see. Actually, <laughs> because we had the... Uh, yeah, the high floor in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so hot, baby. It's hot, baby. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not too bad. Mm. So you may have heard that uh, the sales lady said 15 million, no sea view. But it's a beachfront location. Yeah, very nice. We're going to have a look at a one bedroom, 42 square metre, that starts at 7 million. Can you, can you do it without a bathtub? You don't want the bathtub? I don't want it. It takes up too much room. Actually, it's about 40 to 1 meter. When they build these, if you want this wall here moved that way, you can, yeah, can you do that? Yeah. Uh, if you move the wall and put this way, mine seems massive. You take the bathroom out. Yeah. It's nice how they've got ceiling fans, beautiful ceiling fan. And the floor is a combination of timber and tiles.
Nice cafe here too, Italian cafe. Um, it's called Sasara. Sasarai. I think. And that's where we are. Yeah. <clears throat> That's our raft. <laughs> We're going for a cruise down to the beach in the golf cart. So, there's a 7 Eleven right here. <coughs> so, our adventure continues in Hua Hin, and we James punched in boat club in Hua Hin, and we've come here to this beautiful marina. And we're just talking to this guy that is a manager here. And this sea do is for sale, but way, 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 way out of my price range. It's a 21 model. Uh, 300 horsepower GTX. With 73 hours on it. 650,000 baht. But it comes with a good trailer. Um, what we noticed in Patia, not many trailers come with... Lights. This one has. Step. Reminds me of Australia, the marinas. And this thing's for sale. It's not cheap, it's 1.3 million, but. I'll take that off. It's got a Honda on it. I like this. Yeah. Boat heaven. This the sack store, 270, 7 million baht. Wow. Beautiful. I think it's an ice maker over there or a fridge. Oh, it's got a big monster. Mercury four stroke on it. Uh, so just cruising, cruising through Wahin. Got a good feel about it, this place. I'm sure you guys that have been here would um, agree or leave a comment and let me know what you think of Wahin in comparison to Patty and Jom Tien. Hey, quiet doggy. So this air rocks I'm riding. Uh, fucking not that great. Front suspension knocks and carries on. Jeez Louise. Where's he bought me? What's here? Don't know. <laughs> oh well, there's our day in uh, Wahin. And uh, there's some pretty cool places here along the beach. Um, that building there is the Hilgi. One thing I've noticed here, the sand's really fine. But 
anyway bit of an interesting video something a bit different just our journey from patio to Hua Wahim and uh, looking at a couple of boats and cruising around and of course there was a condo inspection as well anyway thanks